no respect. I'm, tr I'm trying to talk here. Morning, guys. It's that time again. I think uh, I haven't gone in yet. It's fairly early. It, we are lambing again. Had three so far. One yesterday. No, two yesterday. Two yesterday and one on Friday late night, which I was very happy because I was gone Thursday, Friday. So very happy they didn't come early. So I'm going to take you with me to see what I got. We have some way back there. These girls are all due tomorrow. Oh yeah. I see too. I love twins. Triplets are okay, but I'm not as good of a mom as the ones intended to be a mom. Hi! I'm gonna move them into the little claiming pens, which are way down there. They always lamb at the wrong end, every time. I was running from my brother and his friends. Say hello to my little friends. Hello. Come on, Mom, this way. Still the sweet perfume of a mountain grass so rolled down. I was younger then. Take me back to when. Kind of use bait. <laughs> Good morning, you just had to find them. Okay, let's put you in there. Friends and lost through the years. And I've not seen the boring fields in so long. I know I've grown. I can't wait to go home. Now I have to strip mum. Make sure she has milk. Do you have milk? We will find out. I have a first timer that uh, yesterday morning she lambed. I was probably, she probably lambed about half an hour before I got here and the first baby ran away and she was really nervous about it yesterday but by the end of the day I had them on really good on her and then this morning she was kind of beating it up but right now they, I see two tails wagging so I'm just watching her. Excuse me. Today I had friends visit with their young kids and a niece, I believe. Uh, tonight my friend Lauren, who was on a uh, previous video with me, came to visit with her friends from university. I'm, 
I'm trying to talk here. Fifteen years old, smoking and roll cigarettes. Running from the law to the backfields and getting drunk with my friends. And my first kiss on Friday night. I don't reckon. What do you think of the sheep, Brett? What do you think? Do you want to be a sheep farmer? No? no. Do you want to be a tractor driver? No? Do you want to have cows? No. Do you want to be a teacher? Do you want to be a doctor? Do you want to be a policeman? Do you want to stay at home and play with toys? What do you want to do? A painter. You want to be a painter? You can paint my house. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I asked Sandy if you could ride one, and she said, no riding, but maybe we can feed one later, okay? We don't ride these ones. Brett, you're doing good with that one. Those are just little teeny, teeny, tiny ones. Eh? Those are brand new. Get hold of it. Can't get a hold of it. Under her belly, Brett. Under, yep, under like, her belly. Like you're catching a, like you're yeah. holding a cat. That's I'm, it. I'm doing this so Amelia can okay, feed Okay, no, it. you're doing good. Just come in here. I did it right. I was younger then. Take me back to when we found we can jobs when we got paid. We buy cheap spirits and drink them straight. Me and my friends have not thrown up in so long. Oh, how we grown. I can't wait to go home and I'm on my way. I still remember these old country lanes When we did not know the answers And I missed the way to take a couple minutes um, I had some pretty cool things happen this week to me I don't have cool things usually happen to me I'm usually very leery of celebrating successes when they happen because I'm always scared of the other shoe dropping but this week I had my Ontario sheep farmers uh, annual general meeting and their convention it coincides it was Thursday and Friday in Alliston and um, I had to speak the first day, so that was, it was good. And then that night we had the banquet and uh, two fellow producers got up to announce the um, Outstanding Shepherd Award. Uh, I didn't think too much of it. It's usually people that are just absolutely outstanding in our industry and there is a lot to choose from. There's um, people that I really admire and really look up to. So, <laughs> I was shocked that um, they called me up to the front. So I won the Outstanding Shepherd Award. I won a plaque. I don't win anything ever, because when I grew up, there was no, no awards for winning last place. This was pretty special, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit why it's special to me, because I'm a little bit of a sap. I am very sensitive on what my peers think and what my friends think and what my family think about what I do and what I say. So I'm very, I'm always try to be very, very aware of how I'm presenting myself and how I'm coming off. I always want to be true to who I am and very authentic. And I pride myself in being that because I'm not, I'm not any way else. I am what I am. I'm sheepishly me. And that's, that's exactly why this, this is called that. So when this award was given to me by 
to very special uh, friends, just how they presented. And, and my peers nominated me and wrote letters that I unfortunately read the next day when I was sitting at a table at meetings and I was fighting back tears. I didn't fight them well because I was crying. It's, it's still like like this and four days later and I'm still really in shock and, and so very thankful for the people that did this. Uh, it hasn't been an easy ride. It hasn't been an easy journey. journey. I know I share the good stuff, but uh, there's been a lot of bad days as well. And there's been quite a few bad days going going into this business because I did, I did have a life before sheep farming. So we all have a story and uh, to be um, pointed out by your peers and them saying that they appreciate what you do is huge. And uh, I just want to take a couple minutes and thank them for, for giving me this. And I'm going to do my best to keep uh, just sharing my story and sharing what I love to do, which is sheep farming. I love sheep most days, and uh, but more than anything, I love our industry. I love our people. So thanks again for watching, watching these. I appreciate it. Have a good night. See ya.